Namaste. My name is Sunita. I am a teacher for the past four decades, teaching Sushma Yoga meditation as well, and I trained South Indian classical musician, and I teach voice and voice culture lessons and vocal. My dearest teachers, I wanted to share my thoughts with you all. I am asking you to feel free to share with me your thoughts, your feelings at this moment, in the current situation. I am working with teachers individually and in workshops through Sukshma Yoga Meditation. Teachers are in stress, not because of lesson planning, marking, completing the syllabus, finishing the syllabus, parents-teacher meeting, behavior, behavior problems, behavior problems with new students or few students. Personal, school and social life challenges. No, not for that. Teachers are in stress because teachers are on strike. The issues, struggles for the teachers has been going on for the long time. I still remember 16 years back when my daughter and son used to come, oh, teachers are not happy because of, okay. That is it, 16 years back. Why strike? Because British Columbia teachers want smaller classes for more individual attention for students, a reasonable increased wage that respects, recognizes teacher skills and responsibilities, etc. etc. I'm not going in detail, but this is main points. Anyways, situations are not favorable. Teachers are in stress because they are on strike. Stress, stress, too much stress. The stress is common, of course. Natural. But sitting in stress Reacting for the stress is not a solution. The solution is if you're reacting, experience that also. When you're reacting for the stress, more mess, more worst, worst. But when you understand that stress, see, reacting is negative. Understanding is positive. When you are understanding that, that stress, the demand to change. Change in what? Not others. It is not in your hands. Whatever you want to do, you are doing. Whatever you have to do, you are doing. But demand to change where? To protect yourself. To taking care of yourself. We will go through that. How to? Taking care of self. That is the Sukshma meditation solution. During this chaos, what need to be done? That is our topic. My focus is your overall well-being. Sukshma meditation focus is overall well-being. Body mind and spirit. See, nothing is in your hands, but your body is in your hands. Your health is in your hands. Being with yourself is in your hands. But because of stress, we forget everything. So, solution is being with yourself. 
with trust, truth, faith, love, peace, understanding, deeper understanding about yourself. What will happen when deeper understanding about yourself leads to your inner being, your inner teacher, understanding about your true self, truth. What is the truth? Remember, parents will take care of their own children, but teachers will take care of so many students as well as their own children. One more truth, I am not comparing, but let us bring that truth. What is that? If judge makes mistake, innocent sent to the prison. If engineers make mistake, buildings to bridge collapse. If doctors make mistake, they may patient die. If politicians make mistake, I am not going there. If teachers make mistake, it affects the future generations as well as society. All of us know teaching is the noblest of all the professions. Now let us understand teacher. T E A C H E R. T for truth, E for empathy, A for awareness. C for change, H for health, E for evolve, and R for realization. We will go one by one briefly. I know you know very well about your value, about your professional value. By knowing you are in too much stress means one limited part you are losing all of you, all aspects of your life. You are mixing up every aspect in this stress. There is unlimited energy within. You are forgetting that you are worrying for one limited part. T for truth. As I said, finding your true nature, being with yourself in every moment in this present, as it is, how you are feeling at this moment, what your body is saying at this moment, just by listening. Only one question, very sim simplified. One question you have to ask, what am I giving for my physical body? What am I feeling? What thoughts am I feeling to my mental well-being? Just ask only one question, that's all. What am I giving for my physical well-being? That is enough. That is the truth. What will happen? You don't ignore when the tummy pains. You don't ignore when you say that. What I we have to do? That is the truth. Because truth, the tummy is paining, but you are not taking care of. Head is paining, but you are not because you are in stress. Your whole energy, whole day, days, 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 you are spending. That. that is not truth. Truth is being with yourself, knowing about yourself. About what? Body, mind. E for empathy. You take care of your students with your empathy. 
you empathize with everyone. But are you empathizing with yourself? Empathy heals. Help you to connect with yourself. I know that others which you need because every day you are connecting with the so many students. The amazing thing is, not only heals and helps, amazing thing is when you have empathy, you empathize with yourself, you connect with your inner being. True inner being. A. Awareness. Being aware of little, little things to bigger things. At this moment, when you have awareness with the positive, right attitude, what will happen? Positive state of mind can distinguish between like, dislike, right and wrong. No one can cheat you that time. Because your awareness is very high. The positive state of mind become very aware, then you should be able to distinguish between good or bad, right, wrong, and like and dislike. How beautiful it is. Lauren? Right path with the awareness, no matter what situation around you. Being aware of yourself through self-reflection, self-inquiry, silently witnessing the self. See for change. Be the change. Remember this pass away that. Pass away. Everything then passes away. Never get scared and run away from the reality and changes and challenges. Just experience. Head for health. Health is wealth. Physical, mental, emotional and spiritual. It's overall well-being. Health can help you in your personal, school and social life. Before going for the health, take promise for yourself. Take your name, give assurance for yourself. You give assurance for so many children. You give confidence with humor with your smiles. Can't you give for yourself? You can. Beginning with, just hug yourself. Take your name. If you are a singer, just sing. Or just say that. Friend of the mirror. This is my promise. This is my promise. You are my first priority. I will take care of you physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. You see how you feel that after that promise. If you are watching now, just now, just take this. Give hug for yourself and give assurance. It is your promise from today. Every day, morning and night, do this. Dear Sunita, that is my name. Take your name. Dear X, dear A to Z, I love you. I respect you. I'll take care of you physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually. This is my promise. Thank you very much. Little exercise. Good food. And for mind, 
good thoughts. Mind food is what? Thought. Mind and thought. They cannot separate. Interrelated. Like a water ocean. Water river. Same way. Mind and thought. Every day sleep with good thought. With your genuine smile. When emotional, emotional, emotions attacks, see that, be aware. Be aware of what emotion is overpowering you. Why emotional imbalance? Because of six vices, six toxic emotions, spiritual health. Meditate on what do you want. At this moment, what do you want? Take resolution. Not dwelling in the past. Dreaming about the future. At this moment, I want this. Silently. Just toss that. Silently. Meditate on what do you want at this moment. Living in this present leads to highest spiritual path. When you ask that question, what will happen? Your thinking mind slowly descend to your heart. Your thinking mind slowly descend to your heart. Even mind will surrender to your heart. Your heart knows how to take care of you. Your heart knows how to comfort you. But you are ignoring completely because of this stress. You deserve to be super healthy in all aspects of your life. I want you to become healthy, strong, confident, courage in every situation. I have seen so many teachers. Beginning of the meditation and after some time. So much transformation in them. I want all the teachers. If Evolve. Evolve as a person inside and outside. Growing, growing, growing. With what? With awareness, understanding, adapting, adjusting. With a positive state of mind. Offer realization. Self realization. All that truth. Empathy, awareness, your health, your overall well-being and growth all will become experience for yourself, only yourself. Because your body, your mind in your hands, your health is in your hands. There is no need somebody has to help. You can help yourself. That is the reality. Realize yourself, realize your value. Never sit in depression, just express. Stay together. Realize how important your life, how precious your body and mind. Even some of uh, 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 the in inmates workshop, Couple of inmates were regretting. Why we didn't listen to why why his teachers words? When we did small small mistakes, why we didn't listen? Now since ten years we are here. Did you see that? Never, never worry. Why students immediately they will show 
in life. Otherwise, students also one day maybe they will take time. But if everyone hearts, you are there. Every experience, good or bad, is a realization. Your experience, your realization, knowledge, and intelligence. What is that intelligence? Wisdom. Smile, laugh together, help each other. When you are happy, when you are healthy, your humor, your smiles, your love, laughter will bring the vibration to tender hearts. Why are all of these important to the teacher? Let me share with you. As I shared with you with some of them in teacher's workshop. Ancient wisdom says, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwara. Guru is a creator. Guru is a protector and sustainer. Guru is a destroyer. Ancient Indian language, that is Sanskrit. Guru means remover of the ignorance and darkness by giving light. Guru is guiding light. Guru means teacher. Disciple means student. Guru is embodiment of realization in all aspects of his or her life. That is ancient wisdom is saying. Ancient wisdom is saying Guru is embodiment of truth, absolute truth. Knowing about himself and knowing about depth of students' life, in and out. Guru is more aware of the tricks of mind, mind tricks, mind jumps. Guru imparts knowledge with unconditional love with care, with understanding each and every unique qualities of abilities of students. When he imports knowledge, whereas the disciple student receives with humility, with gratitude, with dedication. That is the relationship between Guru and disciple. My personal story, I want to share with this. As a child, until grade 3, my father was my teacher. I used to write everything. Father, I love you so much. How much? This much. How much the whole universe? That much. Then when I grew up, I was a writer in my language, in Telugu. I had written a story. I first start beginning with it because I want to express, I wanted to express my devotion and my love to my teachers. Then the story begins with the teacher, I love you so much. Then teacher will ask, only this much? I love you so much, so much in the sense like an ocean, like a, like a planet Earth, mother planet Earth, like a Akash, that is space, okay, like a universe that published. Then my teachers understood my silence. Because I was so introvert after my death experience, I used to write everything. I used to express through my fiction stories. Ancient, recently, that is the 18th century, sage Tagaraja Swami 
he expresses one of his kirtana kriti adraja kriti song guru lek yetu vanti guni ke teli yak bodu guru lek yetu vanti ye ye without guru's grace without guru's grace a student may come up but go go the guru's grace in a place that whole song is about guru and guru's grace that is ancient in fact there is a special day in month of july guru purnima even today we all celebrate that that day full moon day in month of july my salutations to divine gurus ancient gurus to present speaking the truth and performing the duties in all aspects are very important satyam dharma satya means truth dharma means duty action or like twins thank you so much god bless Govind